Alright, so last week we went to Wispick Farms up in Vermont. Uh, awesome trip. We filmed a bunch of different content there. We got a bunch coming out still, but we did our road trip podcast. Uh, we filmed pints there. We did a whiskey tasting. And we had the guys mic'd up the entire time. And at the end of the day, Kevin comes up to me and asks if it's a problem that his microphone's off. And and if he's like, when did it shut off? I, and I'll be completely honest with you, I have no idea when it shut off. But I told him, no, it's fine. It'll be good because I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah, that's an absolute problem before I know what it is. Told him it was fine. I was like, oh, I was checking the levels throughout pints and everything. We'll be good. We have shotgun mics. Uh, turns out it was a problem. Uh, it died in the middle of Friday night pints. I thought I checked all the batteries. I missed his receiver pack. Uh, and so it died. And I texted him on Thursday night when I'm going through the footage and editing. And I let, I just give him a heads up because we just went through this with Jackie. She has to wear beans in her socks. And I didn't, I didn't want to put that out and then him find out from the internet that I fucked up the audio. Uh, so I just got ahead of it. It was like, just so you know, it did die, but I am going to mix it. I don't think anyone's going to notice. But we got that to ourselves until Thursday when, or Wednesday when uh, they let Jackie know on the podcast. And she's... Pissed. I don't think we talked about it on the show, did we yet? Nick fucked up my mic on Friday Night Pints. <laughs> what? Yeah, she didn't know that. She didn't know that. Neither <laughs> did I do that. I didn't tell either of them that. <laughs> I, hope, I hope a camera's on no, you right Nick, now. No, Nick yeah. has to wear bean socks. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, so I was asked to give my thoughts on the fact that Nick got away with, like, not, like, no punishment for whatever mics cutting. Am I stupid? You get the point. I can't think of like the phrase turning off the mics. Oh my God, it doesn't matter. Okay. Anyways, he didn't get any kind of punishment and I think that he should get some kind of punishment because he did the same shit that I did, kind of. A little, and it could be less than mine because I guess he like fixed it a little bit better than I did. But I think that it should be something. I think that the best kinds of punishments or when it's like kind of subtle and like not super obvious that it's like hazing or a punishment or something it's just kind of like like leaves everyone kind of just being like that was kind of weird like i think that he should he should have to go up to somebody somebody who he like doesn't interact with that much somebody in content like tommy or kb and be like like, on a day when they're looking, like, super average, too. Just be like, dude, you look great today. Maybe they have to do that, like, two or three times to the point where by the third time they're like, what is going on? Like, why is Nick... Or maybe he has to go up to Nick Tarani, Tarani and just be like, I just realized that we have the same name. It's like really late for me right now, and like I, n these could all really suck. I can kind of hear them like sucking. They're funnier like in my head, but then when I say it out loud, it's like that's not that. So I guess if you can think of, if you could think of literally anything better, I guess comment below. What? So something good, some kind of like good punishment. I want to go kind of like the prank route where it's like he has to walk up to somebody. We'll strap him with a mic. But just something subtle. Like, I'm not, he, I'm not letting him get away without any kind of punishment. So, sorry. Sorry. So, tomorrow we have Kelsey Cook coming in. She has a show called Wrists of Fury, where she plays foosball and kicks the shit out of comedians. And found out today that we got a foosball table order here. We gotta set it up, figure out how to shoot it, and everything else in 24 hours. I'm way too tired for having just pushed that around the corner. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little gas <laughs> Daniel.
it was the fourth square on here right now, I wouldn't apologize to Danielle. I'd put up a side by side photo and say, but what's the deal? But all I'm saying is you're a mean girl. I'm not a mean girl, Dave. That's a mean I've girl. Only, I've been blocked one time in three years because I'm nice. I was saying facts. All right. Fine about the drama. Monday, I think is when it all happened. We had like two interviews that day. No, that wasn't Monday. Whatever fucking day it was. We had like two hour interviews, had to do a podcast. We recorded like the whole day. Hello? I'm eating a cheeseburger with Therese on it. You ever heard of such a thing? Anyway, recorded all day. Came out. People were like, this is the hottest story you ever heard. This drama is crazy town. And, you know, being little drama queens, we want to hear all about it. Casey and Keys broke it down for us. And, I mean, honestly, it wasn't super interesting. It got more interesting as the week went on, as Dave's stuff happened, as other people chimed in. Um, but in the moment, I was super let down. It got more interesting as the week went on. But in the moment, I was, I was super let down. I was like, the only thing I fucking care less about than this is a game time feud. I got a feeling she's not flattering. I don't, I don't, I don't hate it. I don't, we don't look too good at these. I don't, I, I don't hate it. That's the The sportique fucking photo shoot. Of all the nonsensical things we've done at that goddamn company, this might be number one. First of all, I went into it thinking sportique. I don't know. For some reason, I thought it was a perfume. Because I thought, there's no fucking way we're having a photo shoot to sell sweatshirts and sweatpants. We've sold, I don't know, $100 million worth of those. 100 million individual, 100 million units of those things in the day of Barstool Sports. We used, to, we used to sell them using a picture. What do we need a fucking photo shoot for if it's not some crazy unique product? No, it was just sweatshirts. Just basic ass sweatshirts that we've sold... The, 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 we probably sold 100 million sweatshirts. We probably sold 50 million sweatshirts that just say Barstool Sports. That's all it says. It's a Barstool Sports sweatshirt. Full on photo shoot for it. Don't make a lick of sense. Oh, by the way, they're real fitting on your fat body, John. By the way, your fucking little dick sticking out, John. By the way, you look so ugly that the photographers can't even figure out how to make you look better. To tell you to alter the clothes because you look so fat and gross. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Fucking middle of the day photo shoot to just ruin yourself. Are you having a good week, John? Are you having fun this week? Feeling good about yourself? Here, look fat, you piece of fucking shit. That's what, that's what that photo shoot was. An unnecessary insult. <laughs>